Your brain is the most incredible problem solving machine, right? Which is amazing, but we don't, we don't, we don't work with that. So we're going to work with your brain. How do I mean, like, what do I mean by this? You think about a series that you're watching, some series that you're watching. If you switch it off before the end of the episode or in the middle of a cliffhanger and you're not watching the next episode, how often do you find that it's scratching in the back of your brain? You're thinking about it before you go to sleep. It's like somehow it pops up in your head and you're thinking about it. Should do the, it's not active thought, it's not conscious, but it's like it's scratching in the back of your head, which is also why we also want to keep pressing play to see the next episode. We want to see what happens because your brain doesn't like unfinished business. Your brain wants to solve problems because that's how your brain works. And so if your brain comes across a problem, it's going to scratch at it, it's going to itch at it, it's going to like, I, win. I want to solve this problem. Okay, so it holds the problem in your brain. If you watch a movie and you go to sleep, your brain doesn't scratch it in the same way because everything is closed. It's all nice and closure, there's closed, there's nothing to solve, and so your brain leaves it and moves on. So you're going to use this. How are you going to use this? Let me tell you. When you do the question before the lecture, what your brain does is it creates gaps. And it goes, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is. What happened here? This is now you, you associate emotions to those gaps. Oh, there's too many gaps. I'm gonna fail. But your brain's not interested in that. Your brain's going, oh, there's a gap. There's a gap. Okay, so you knew that that was a debit, but you didn't know what the credit was. And okay, so you knew the ad acquisition, but you didn't know that. So your brain is creating gaps, right? So it's almost like you're building a puzzle and your brain's kind of going, we don't have that. We don't have that. We don't have that. We're missing. We're missing pieces. So your brain is identifying gaps because it's got a problem. So it's going, we've got a problem. 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 Now, tomorrow morning, Tomorrow you sit in class, what does your brain do? Your brain's looking for the solutions. It's looking. Your brain is looking. This is very different to sitting back in the lecture and go, tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. No, 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 no. Your brain is going, when you tell me about that, when I hear that, I'm going, oh, yes, that, that was the, that, oh, that's right. That was what I didn't understand. Okay, if I'd have had that, then that would have filled in. Okay, yeah, okay, I get that now. So now in the lecture, instead of being passive learning where you go, okay, just tell me stuff and I'll use it later, your brain is sitting forward going, we need this stuff. What you're doing by doing a question before the class, you are tricking your brain into paying more attention. Okay, so we are tricking your brain. We are using your brain. We are working with your brain. So we're following the way your brain works, which is looking for solutions to problem. When you go and sit in a lecture, your brain doesn't have a problem. It's just sitting there going, tell me stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, bring it on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll remember that. Oh, you told me I'm going to have to use the, okay, all right. But your brain doesn't have a problem. There's no problem. Because I haven't done it myself. I don't know. I don't care. But when you've got a recent problem, your brain is itching for that solution because it doesn't like the gaps. Your brain doesn't like the gaps. And so it's looking. So you'll find that your lectures, you will absorb, you will remember, and you will focus more because your brain has a problem and it's trying to solve it.